Okay, listen. Here's what, this is the image I want you to get in your head. Whoa. <laughs> Aren't you looking really nice? And you're wrapped up pretty nice. Is that pretty good wrapping? She's all dressed up pretty. He's all looking handsome. You are gift wrapped to each other for that night. So no wrapping comes undone until that wedding night. And that wedding night becomes so perfect and special and beautiful and right because you're unwrapping your gifts to each other that God has saved for you. Why do you do that wedding night? It has to be because God says so. What? Sometimes does your mom tell you to marry? Listen, listen. Sometimes does your mom say, I don't want you to do that? And you say, why? And she says, because I said so? God says so. No, no, no. Why is your heart? Hmm? If you do anything on number number two before your wedding night, that's considered sin. It is considered sinful. God has something to say about having sex outside of marriage. It is a sin. Sex outside of marriage is a sin. There's more scripture about it. And Clark's going to get into that. We'll talk about it. Hey, listen up. But are you talking about, you're talking about the consequences of that too? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because this is what I don't want you to miss. It's not about, and Shelby will talk about, but the consequences, I know Shelby will, will talk yes. very clearly. On. And that's what you need to listen very, very carefully to. Any more questions, write down. Because we're going to spend the whole group talking, because I know you have lots of questions and we want to honor that. But we want to make sure we get through everything so we can answer your questions. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, he's fine. Okay. Well, I will, I'll answer more your questions later. But if God has something to say about it. He says to honor the marriage between a husband and a wife. Okay? That's the way it is. Um, I will talk to you girls a little bit more about how I did it wrong and suffered many consequences. And many heartaches and many sad things in my life. So I did blow it. I didn't make it. Okay? But I can tell you today, because God came into my life and He changed me. And I have become, I have come to live the white life well lived that we're going to talk about. I got to see my daughter make it. I got to see my daughter marry a wonderful Christian man. I got to see her walk down so trembling and so beautiful and saw Luke crying tears at her beauty and that they had saved each other and they waited and they were going to unwrap their gifts to each other that night. I got to see that happen in my child. So it was just the most glorious thing that I was thankful, thankful, thankful to God that just because I screwed up, he didn't let my child screw up because I started asking God what he wanted me to do to help her make it. So I think God has given me these three things to talk to you guys, to help you learn how to make it to your wedding night intact, without girls, without the emotional damage. And there's no way girls do not suffer emotional damage when they do not choose to follow the rules. There is emotional damage. Guys, not as much, but you still have baggage, all right? So that's the dating rules. That's the three. Now, what you do with this three by five card, I have college students that will still come and talk to me um, and show them, bring their wallet out and say, I still got my card. They still got the card in their wallet. The girls still got them in their purse. Hang on to it. When you get out on a date or when, you know, you might not be able to date for a couple more years, but you have something to go by. You have something to think about. All right? So that's the little quirky dating talk, but I do want to talk to you guys a little, girls a little more about it uh, when we get in our small group with Lindsay.